the game. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think that, you know, we, we obviously played makeshift lineups tonight and, and uh, didn't play particularly well at all offensively. Of course, they had a lot to do with that defensively and, and uh, you know, didn't have Marcus and had a couple of starters really struggle and somehow found a way to hang in there. And, you know, Charlie and KJ were, were great off the bench and played a key role. But it, it, was, a, it was a good grinded out toughness win, not artistic at all, but Certainly, I think we need to learn how to win that way, and, and uh, this team's never really done that, but the, we were able to do it tonight. Coach, um, congratulations on the win, first of all. Um, how does it feel, you know, playing in New York City and also having a big win like this against another nationally ranked team like Tennessee? Well, yeah, this, this has been, uh, first of all, it's great to come to the city. Uh, uh, hopefully, the weather will will cooperate with us getting to enjoy some of it tomorrow uh, because we really hadn't had a chance to enjoy it, you know, to date. But uh, it's fun to play here in Barclays. It's fun to play, obviously, in the Garden. Uh, and I think our fans enjoy being here without questions, especially over the holiday. But 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 it, it's been great to be here. But but beyond that, to win two games, one in which you get dominated the first half last night and then play lights out and start the second half, and then to, to have a game where obviously things weren't looking very good for us and guys grind it out and make some plays uh, against a team, you know, obviously that, that could very easily compete for a, a national championship, I, I think uh, uh, speaks wonders for, for, you know, our guys growing up and, and certainly for our young kids to have a chance to experience that. So even though we, we got a little bit of experience return, that's a pretty young team out there. And so, uh, we didn't have maybe our toughest player tonight either. So yeah, it was a great team win. You told us on Monday that this week would tell you a lot about your team. So yeah. what, what conclusions do you draw? Uh, I, I, well, we got to get a lot better than what we are. Uh, and we certainly need to be mentally tougher in some ways. But And we got to execute better and carry out assignments better. Uh, but but I, I do think this, uh, uh, it's okay to win ugly. I mean, winning ugly is actually pretty at the end of the day. and, and and we won, a, we won a game today where we artistically wasn't very good, but we've won a lot of games over the years where we didn't look very good, but we just kind of hung around and found a way. So I, I think it, it gave our guys some confidence. You call it makeshift. Did you think KJ could play minutes like that tonight? Yeah. Like that? Well, with, with, uh, yeah, well he, we only had five guards, so, so some, he was going to have to play. Uh, and, you know, Quinton obviously had a rough night. Uh, so we decided to play those other four and then and then when they play the way they play you know the, the one thing about this isn't a knock to Mitch or David at all but when Doak's not in the game we got no low post scoring unless Deidre plays down there so when it's hard for Deidre to play down there if, if David or Mitch are in the game so you know that's one thing we can do we kind of stretch the floor a little bit to allow Deidre to work inside some one-on-one. -on -one. What did you think of Deidre's in overtime? I thought he was great. I, I thought he was great. He, he, the, 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 the jump hook he made uh, was a big time jump hook in the middle of the lane. Uh, uh, Legero gave me a perfect pass on the lob, and then he ran the floor one time. Legero gave me another good look. Uh, uh, but I, th I thought he played great. The one thing we got to do, we can't, we can't sh shoot, keep shooting 60% from the free throw line. We, we got to take advantage of opportunities, and he's one of our best free throw shooters. Uh, uh, but I, I think we did a lot of good things. So, uh, I, you know, whenever you, you shouldn't apologize for defeating a team that's, you know, ranked in top five in the country. Uh, and I'm not going to. That was a great win. How much better are your guards doing driving the ball and getting the rim? Uh, I think a couple of them are doing better. I think LeGerald actually turned the corner a, a couple of times, and, and, and Devon is pretty good at getting in there. Doesn't always make great decisions when he gets in there. And believe it or not, Charlie forced help a couple of times and, and did that. You know, we're not getting anything out of, out of Quentin. Uh, doing that, we, we got to improve there, but, but uh, I think they're getting better at it. With two seconds left, um, was that the plan, Deidre? No, uh, <laughs> Gerald was wide open, wasn't he on the lot? Yeah, yeah. I mean, wide open, and, and, and Devon was scared to throw it. You know, you know, you got to watch what you say to kids, because because I said, uh, we're going to run it this way, and then, you know, if it's not open, Deidre will take the shot just by stepping out and just make sure you get the ball to Deidre. Well, he just got the ball to Deidre when Gerald's <laughs> wide open for an easy lay-in. So, 
Uh, uh, we got an improve on that, but but uh, uh, little things like he had a bigger guy guarding him on out of bounds, but out of bounds under it didn't matter. You can back up as far as you want to. You know, if you're going to throw a lob, you can back up six feet. So just things like that that we need to practice uh, uh, and talk about. What impressed you the most about Tennessee? Excuse me? What impressed you the most about Tennessee? Sort of there. Uh, well, you know, personnel, obviously. I thought Schofield was unreal in the second half. And, and, and we may not play a better player than Grant Williams uh, this year. He, he's a load. We were, we were fortunate they missed some threes uh, uh, early on, which I thought uh, could easily gone down. Uh, uh, but but I, I, uh, I think their toughness. You know, for us to out-rebound them, even though it's a little bit misleading because we had five team rebounds bounce our way out of bounds. But, but uh, uh, for us to out-rebound that team and, and not have a doke out there the vast majority of the time uh, means that we at least competed with them. But I, I think they're really a tough team, and they're going to continue to get better. Coach, how, how long does it usually take you to get a feel for your team? Uh, well, I, I think if, if I have returning guys, I think I can have a decent feel within a month or so. But I don't have a, I don't really know what we have yet because if, if you've watched us play so far or studied us, it's been a different guy almost every night. I mean, hey, we, we went through a period of time where deeper the only basket he can make is one where he's sitting on his butt uh, in a lane. And, and, and then, you know, go through a period of time where, where, where uh, uh, you know, guys can't scratch. You know, the Gerald couldn't scratch against Michigan State. Uh, so the good thing is you got different guys stepping up different nights. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, I still, the one thing I do know about our team more so now than ever, I think they'll compete and fight. What about uh, Marcus Garrett's condition? Yeah, he's, he, he's going to be fine. You know, he, he got, I don't know if you guys remember, we subbed for him with about 20 seconds left the other night. He got hit, and, and uh, we were hopeful that he could play, but he had, he had some of the uh, concussion type uh, symptoms, and, and you know, there's no way we'd let him play. Doc, Doc evaluated him yesterday, and he said that he would probably be doubtful today, and today he still had some of the same symptoms. So, so yeah, he, he, was, he was eliminated. That was, a, that, was a, that was an easy decision to make. You know, you oh, keep right. well, go ahead. Go ahead. You keep mentioning how young and inexperienced are Our you, guards, yeah. Yeah, are you kind of appreciative now that you do have LeGerald back and he's come up big for you guys? Oh, LeGerald's been great. LeGerald's been great from an attitude standpoint, leadership standpoint, playing standpoint. He's been he's been intense so far. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about uh, uh, LeGerald being part of it. He's, he's been terrific for us, and, and we would have no chance. We may not have – could have won those last two home games we had unless LeGerald was going 15 to 20 from three. So, so uh, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy we have him back. How big was he in that stretch? He had those two three pointers and then yeah. a, a, another basket. Yeah. Tied that ball game up at 56. He, he, he went on an 8 0 run, and then I, I could be wrong to put us up five. And then didn't Tennessee go on a 7 0 run to go up two, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so uh, but yeah, he, he was key there. He, he, he was key there at the end. Why do you feel like you haven't gotten enough appointment yet? I don't know. I don't know. He. He was good in the first game, and then he's, he's labored since then. So, so we, you know, uh, uh, you know, I think a lot of it is confidence and feel. But you know, we, we, he's, he's a talented kid, and, and we certainly are going to be a lot better when 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 uh, when he starts playing uh, uh, like we know he can play. Coach, you mentioned that um, you might play in New York City. Um, you had Russell Robinson on your national yeah. championship team ten years ago, and you had Chuck Diallo um, a couple of years ago. Would you be open to more New York players coming out to Kansas in the future? Absolutely, yeah. We we we, we want to recruit the best players uh, uh, that we possibly can from wherever, as long as we have some contacts, you know, that could help us get in there. But yeah, uh, we haven't had very many uh, kids from the city, but we we've uh, we certainly uh, had a couple of really good ones, and of course, Russell's one of the best leaders we've ever had at Kansas. So, uh, you know, and that was uh, that was great when we got him. I believe it, I could be wrong, but it was out of Rice, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, so it was great when we got him out of Rice. Yeah. Final question, if there is one. If not, thank you, Coach. Hey, thanks.